Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Star Stable. Now I'm sorry about the settings thing at the beginning. I was going off full screen to get the recording bit to start. That's all I was doing. So we're going to start now. Now there's a new update out, which is the Stable customization. Now, I've already customised my stable, um, because I thought the first recording I did would save, but it didn't, so now I'm recording it again. So all I'm going to do, really, is show you um, how to do it, and what themes there are. So, we're going to go through it all. So first of all, what you're, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on this. Which is your catalog thing, right? So the first thing I'm gonna like go on is this category here, which is the stalls. Now you have moorland and you also have Brookhaven, so right, so the moorland one looks like this. Which is not what I tend to use. And this is the other moorland bit right here. So that's the moorland stall bit. The Brickhaven one is this, the Royal Grills, and this is the other bit for the Brickhaven one. There are other options, but they're all mainly Star Queens, and this is the other one. Okay, so that is for the stalls option. The upper walls you have more land. You have two free options here. The Abra Gable and you also have the Hazel Gable. Those are your two free options. You have Hazel Windows or the Abra Windows which you need 6,000 Joyfook shillings for or 60 Star Coins. For your roof, for your ceiling area, you have the hazel ceiling, and you also have the Ambira ceiling, which is free as well, free-ish, only one shilling. This is your free one, this is your shilling one. And for the next option, we're going to go for lower walls. So the moorland ones, are your free options are hazel, Ambira. These are either shillings or star coins. For the more nicer looking ones, they're star coins based. And more of like your basic realistic ones um, tend to be star coins. Right. I'm not applying any of these because I like the brick one better. So obviously this is your free option. This is your Joyfix shillings option as well as this one and this one. This one, we're on trims now, is your free option. This one's also your Joyfix shillings option and star coins. Same with this one and this one. These two are got Joyfix shillings as an option as well. The brick one, which is the one I use, you have cloud stone walls. You also have white stone walls, frost walls, brick well, brick wall walls. Bit of a tongue twister there. Bright wall, sorry. <laughs> Scarlet walls, smoke wall walls. There's so many for this one. I'm not even going to read all of them. There's so many for this one. The door, have many options, but the rest of them are star points, unfortunately. The trims. Most of them are star coins, um, so that goes for the lower walls. Floors, Moorland only has a few of them, which these are your options. 
most of them again are star coins, which I find unfair for new players. Brickhaven, these are your floor options. And now we're going on to ornaments, which your ornaments here, we're going to do moorland first. These are your moorland ones. And these are your brick haven ones. Which I find really nice. The brick haven ones look better, I will say that. Right, so we're going on to moorland gate options. So you have four choices here, some of them are star points, and some of them aren't. Now paling, most of these are star coins. Brookhaven, you've also got all of these, and these. Beams, oh pardon me, <laughs> you've got more land ones. Some of them are Joyvik shillings, some of them, most of them are star coins once again. Brickhaven, you have these ones. Most of them are star coins once again. Lamps, moorland first, you have these ones. And to be fair, these ones, to be honest, I will say this. If you're going to do the brick one, way these ones might actually be nicer can I purchase them no I can't I'm skint on star coins at the moment but for this one I'm gonna be honest these ones with this wall they match really well um, I may recommend changing the gate so if you're gonna use these ones just saying these ones do go perfectly well with the walls only the top bits. I'm just going to say that. Right. So you have moorland lamps, and you've also got brick haven lamps, which are these ones. Even um, these ones, or these ones, I feel like these ones match better. These ones might go over this wall, depending on what it is. Last thing is the shower room. There's only one option for the shower room which is moorland, unfortunately. Which are, uh, the rest of them are all star coins, which I think is terrible. Okay, let me give you my opinions on why I think the update that they've done is kind of terrible. Let me say. This is not a personal hate to Star Stable or anything, but if you're a new player, okay, let me explain. If you're a new player and you can't get star coins every single month or week, for example, and most of the themes are star coins based. Now, Star Stable, it's be aimed at you for this one, okay? My idea would be is to make more Joyfix shilling options for more of the newer players, okay? Because let's get this straight right. The new players can't access any quests because you need Star Rider. And the quests that they can access are only when Star Stable release a free Star Rider code for new players, okay? The only time they can access those quests to get those Joyfix shillings is when they sign up and they get free Star Rider for however long, for a few days. Or they'll have to play the game continuously and keep getting shillings, which by far they are hard to get. Okay? So I only have 21 Star Wars. Okay? Now, my point being is for Joyfix shillings, the only really way new players can really get Joyvik shillings really is by doing races or doing chores. But the only place they'll be able to access is Fort Pinter and Moorland, which I don't think. Oh, and Norman's Highland, I think. 
you can access that area if you're free. But yeah, that's the only areas they can access, and I feel like it's kind of unfair on the new players that most of it's all Star Coins based. Like, literally, if you look in the theme bit, for example, stools. Look how many are Star Coins, right? 120 for the Fern ones. 60 for the Abira ones. Same goes for the Hazel ones as well. They still cost Star Coins. And look at the shillings price, look. 6,000. I personally would think they should have made that at least a bit lower. To at least 3,000. So then the new players can save up more. 6,000 is a bit much. So look, look how many like star coins options there are. Look, come on. You could have like put more shillings options. Like 6,000 is a bit too much for a new player, I would say that. Even the Brickhaven ones, look. Look how many star coins options there are. Shillings, you could take that down a little bit on price. I will say that. On price wise, you could take some of that down. Oh, hey, look. 120 star coins. A new player probably can't get star coins all the time. Upper walls, look. Most of these, look, are star coins. How unfair is that for a new player? The only option they have is this one. The Mocha Walls. The rest of them are Star Coins. How unfair is that for a new player? Okay. I don't want to sound rude or anything, but come on. Like, look how many Star Coins options they have for the brick one. None of these are barely Joyfook shillings except from this one. Like, come on. Star Stable, please. Like, do better. Like, release more options that are Joyfook shilling options for the new players and bring the price down for the new players because it's really unfair on them. On them. Okay? Same for this. Look how many of these are star points. I know I'm ranting on a lot, but do you see my logic here? Even floor, look. Look how many of these are star points based. Barely of these are shillings. This is my point, like, come on. Do better, star stable, please. Waterman's, here we go. Moorland, look. Most of these are shillings. There's literally only two options. Well, sorry. Most of these are star coins. There's literally only two options for shillings on this one. And then you compare it to the farm one. Only one option is shillings. Look, come on. Like, even gates, see? Most of these are star coins. It's terrible. I'm sorry, but it is. Not everyone can get star coins. This is my point. Like the star coins prices are cheaper, most of them, than the, the joyful shillings. Like, come on. All of these are mostly star coins options. I'm not applying any of these, but I'm just showing you how much they really are. Let's like shower them. All star coins. Do you guys see my point now? This is why. This is why everyone thinks. Well, not everyone, but some people do. Think star stable are money hungry. Because they are. Star stable, my advice to you is please release more options that are joyfic shilling based 
for players who can't get Star Rider or Star Coins. Please, it will help them out massively. Anyways, I'm sorry about the ranting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe and comment if you want to. And comment down below your opinions on the new update. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!